Hello everyone. So I just released the stylized human character pack on the asset store. And if you also got the armor pack, which comes with a lot of armor sets, as you can see for both the female and the male, you probably want to know how to attach those armor sets to your character prefabs, right? So uh, first of all, you don't really have to have them in your character prefab. You can also dynamically swap the mesh and the material either with your own system or of course with RPG Builder. Uh, but in this case, this video is to show you how to easily attach those armor prefab to your character. So let me show you. Um, so first of all, you drag and drop your character prefab in the scene, right? For example, uh, the male or uh, the female. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the male, but the process is the exact same thing with the female. So here we have the human male stylized. Of course, this could be your own prefab with whatever modification you made to it. Now, what I have to do is pick whatever prefab, uh, armor prefab, I want to attach to my character, right? So let's just pick one. Let's say, for example, this one, the uh, cloth set. Okay. And what I'm going to have to do here is to unpack the prefab completely so that it's going to let us um, actually uh, move uh, things that are inside it around, etc. So as you can see here, we have the set. I just rotated it for it to face us, but you don't have to do this. Uh, but anyway, so as you can see uh, right now, these are two separated game objects, right? And all you have to do is go under Blink, Armor Tool, and here you will select all the armor pieces, drag and drop inside the armor pieces list, and then you go inside your character prefab and find the hips bone here, which is under Armature. You drag and drop the hips bone under New Armature, and then drag and drop a new parent. In this case, I created an empty game object called cloth set, but you can of course either not use a parent at all, just have all your armors inside your character. But in my case, I like to keep things clean. So, um, and now that's it. You just click attach armor pieces and it's done. We can now delete the uh, armor prefab because it's no longer needed. And now we have our armor set. As you can see right now, we have the uh, body part um, clipping with it, of course. So you can either disable those dynamically in games with your own system, or of course, very easily, um, RPG Builder is doing that for you. But that's it. As you can see, we now have our armor set attached to our character, and it will now follow the body when we are animating the character. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.